Why, hello! This is Miranda from My Scrappy Life. Um, thank you so much for um, tuning in today. Um, we are going to do a sketch from Paper Issues that they were having this past weekend. Um, it's going to be called Winter, um, Warm Winter. There's the sketch. Um, so these pictures here are from Triburg when we were stationed in Stuttgart, Germany the last three years. Um, so I got out my clear gesso and I started to put down some uh, gesso um, and I was looking at doing a little bit of mixed media with this layout but I wanted to keep it very, um, um, let's see here, very simple um, for the first time especially because I have to video this and on top of it try to do the narration. So um, please, please bear with me. As you can tell, I can need to work on getting my layout a little bit more in screen. Um, but it's trial and error, right? So here I am going to put down some stencils. Um, it is from the actual pack called A Perfect Winter um, by Lori Whitlock. It's from the Echo Park collection, and I actually used all of it. Um, the dazzlers that you see me using are the foiled again and the redalicious. Now, as you see me putting down um, the the foiled again, you will notice that after a little bit, when you start to watch the video further into this, um, yeah, I cover them up. I literally put them down, put all that gesso down. And all you will see at the end um, with the still shots is a little of them peeking out, if any, along with the red. So um, just to explain as you're watching me put down the stencils, um, we were actually, my, hus my husband's army, so we were actually stationed in Stuttgart, Germany for three years. And I um, took tons and tons and tons and tons of pictures. And so a lot of the videos that you will be seeing from now until I guess I'm done is our vacations and our trips and our little get to getaways and all that stuff um, while we were stationed in um, Germany. Um, it was one of the trips of a lifetime to go. And I was so grateful that um, my husband was able to get stationed there and for us to do things. So here I am putting down the um, Redalicious um, Dazzlers as well and then you'll see me get out my heat gun and I am very very impatient when it comes to uh, mixed media. If it doesn't dry quick enough you will see me pull out my heat gun over and over and over because it just drives me nuts. Um, in a little bit here you'll see me also set it off to the side and um, here I am see that's what I'm talking about I hate waiting for it to dry obviously there you go you'll see me put it off to the side and here I am pulling out all the papers now for the sketch that um, paper issues had over this past weekend um, for a challenge I wasn't able to get it done but I still wanted to do the sketch so it called for um, a few pieces of paper behind and I pull out that blue and then I pull out um, a red one that's got a bunch of writing on it. And then you'll see me pull out a white checkered board with some mint. Um, here I am going through all the paper. I It takes me a long time to find my paper, I feel like, anyway. Um, so I'm just going to cut all the papers um, to what I'm liking. And here I struggle with it a little bit because I didn't know how big I really wanted it. Um, but uh, essentially, I figured it out. Um, my paper cutter is actually from Stampin' Up. Um, I will provide um, a link below for my paper cutter. I am actually, as you see me cutting here, I'll explain a little bit. I am a consultant for Close to My Heart. And I have a really good friend that is um, a Stampin' Up! consultant. So we both kind of bounce each other's um, products off between each other and whatnot. So um, with that being said, here I am. I'm cutting them down to the way I feel that I like the size. And the blue one was just a tad bit too big. Um, but you'll see me cut that in a little bit. Um, here I'm putting the pictures in place to where I like... 
um, the pictures, obviously. I put the one of my husband and my daughter in the middle, and then the other two are actually pictures of my daughter throwing snow from the trees, like she was pulling down the branches, and she wanted all of the snow on Dad. Well, in turn, she didn't realize that the snow was going to fall on her. So she had a good old time. Um, as you can tell when you do the still shots at the end, you'll see that she's got such a lovely face and whatnot. Um, and I can definitely, definitely tell that I need to do my um, videos in the morning morning and not in the afternoon because the sun, where my craft room is set up, um, the sun comes in just a tad bit weird. And you don't see a glare, but my um, video is a little bit out of focus, and I think it's because of the sun. So I'm going to try trial and error, trial and error. So please, please bear with me. Um, stick it out with me, and um, here in the next few weeks, these will definitely get better. So right back to the video, um, or to the layout. Uh, sorry for the tangent. Here I am putting down all of the... Um, layers that I want and you'll notice that I'll bring back the my paper pad or my paper my um, bottom layout I don't know what I'm doing here. Um, well I guess I am I I must have had to look at something uh, my family was home and it could have been my husband coming in and talking to me too so I'm sorry about that but um, there you'll see that's where you'll see that the stuff um, gets uh, a little bit too big for my liking and this is what I was talking about when I put down all this mixed media and there I covered up yep I did it and it is what it is I wasn't going to go back and redo my um, paper they're just underneath and it is you know like I said it is what it is um, so there I figure out that that's where I want the stuff and now I start to go through the ephemera pack um, there's a it, it, this this um, collection sorry that the collection is actually really really gorgeous I can't wait to keep um, doing this paper um, collection a little bit more um, obviously you can see that I'm picking out some stuff and I'm one of them that I gotta pick it out first and then um, put it down. I don't kind of like figure out, see, and I'm going through, there's the bows that didn't make it at all. Um, and then there's the chipboard. And the chipboard um, is where I actually got my title from, which is called the Warm Winters. Um, and I take off all of the little um, snowflakes. You'll start to see me pull them off here shortly. Um, but they're all little snowflakes on the chipboard. There they go. See that? And they all have snowflakes. And so... I wanted to incorporate a little bit more of the snowflakes um, because it just snowed um, when we were in Triburg. It snowed the night before and they got, um, golly, I think like four or five inches worth and they were digging for a while. But because we lived in town, we didn't have to worry about it. So essentially, we got to go have some fun while everybody else was digging themselves out. Um, but as you can see here, I figure out where I want to put my title which is the warm winters and then I just start to put the snowflakes everywhere um, and kind of go from there and I start to glue things down I use Tom Amano for all of my gluing um, and then I obviously have my ATG gun there I pick out the little um, clear stickers um, I decided to grab a tree and the little bird and put it by my um, put it by my title as well and then I grabbed out a little thing that is called that was on there that was called um, snow much fun but the problem was is I couldn't figure out where to put it so you see me use you see me get it out and then I put it away and then I get it back out and then I put it away and then I get it back out and finally I just decide no I'm not putting it in so here this is where I'm putting it all down and ready to go on there um, so that's where I start and again I am so sorry for being out of out of the out of view on that one side um, I know now watching the video and making the video that I gotta make sure that I've got that other corner showing out so I'm sorry about that but essentially there I don't put anything over there but the snowflakes 
Um, and you'll see the still shots too at the end where um, there wasn't much on there. So here I go, I stick it down. I am officially, this layout is going to come to an end here quickly. Um, it actually goes pretty quick. Um, my layouts take don't take very long at all um, for me, um, especially if I know exactly what I'm doing. And if I have the whole collection, it makes it so much easier. Um, but here you go, you start to see that I start to put down my titles again um, and stick them down and officially say, yep, this is where I'm going to put them. Uh, the other thing that um, I'd like to kind of do a shout out while you're watching me um, finish putting the layout is, again, thank you, thank you so much for following along with me on just my blogging part. I will link everything below um, to all of my Facebook pages, my Instagrams, my everything that I follow on social media. And um, obviously, please, if you like this, um, subscribe. If you give it a thumbs up, if you like it, um, if you don't, totally understandable. Um, please, please bear with me. I'm going to work on my videoing. Um, definitely on this now that this is my first one and I got the first one out of the way. Um, so here you are. You see that I've got all my enamel dots and I'm getting them out and I'm just putting them out. After I get done videoing, I felt like I need to put a little bit more out. And so I put some more enamel dots down. Sorry about my hand there um, for that part. But um, I just start keep putting it, embellishments down. And I like... Uh, kind of putting some of them in an odd spot, but I do try to keep the triangle effect going to the best um, as I can, but for the most part, um, I just put them down wherever I feel that they look great at. Um, here I am putting down the sticker, and that sticker says all dressed up with snow place to go. So I thought it was pretty fitting um, for that section as well and here's this little snow the sticker snow I put it back I thought I was going to use it and in the end you'll see where I put it um, obviously um, I'm cutting up some dimensionals from Stampin' Up um, and I do use Fun Foam Fun Foam is another big one but um, for some of the smaller ones I'll just grab my dimensionals they work um, really really good for that part and then there's the snow so I place it there and I love it there I think it works out perfect um, so there's that little circle again that I thought I would use and I finally put it off to the side saying this isn't going to happen so I decided to write my journaling um, afterwards because I really don't know what to say sometimes on my layouts so I always draw my lines and I kind of tuck them somewhere um, like for this one, there was this opening spot, so I just draw, and honestly, I normally have to add extra lines because I normally get to be saying more than just what the lines that I show up on there. Um, but uh, essentially, I drew some lines to where I'm going to put my journaling, and then um, I have, obviously, my stamp sets are from close to my heart. Um, they're amazing. They're magnetic, so they work easy peasy. Um, but obviously I put my date stamp down and I realized that this was 2015, not 2016. So when this still shuts, you'll see that I kind of changed it. Um, but I should be waving here shortly. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for um, everything um, on this. And here's some still shots. E propõe-me um pacto, eu prometo poder Oferece-me um tridente, quero-me ao lado dele como demónio 